Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I hope everyone had an absolutely amazing weekend and is looking forward to an even better week. Can I have everyone please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, so this week I am really excited because we're getting ready to kick off something very, very special. It's called the Pyramid to Success. Now, what is the Pyramid to Success, you might ask? It's not something that Dr. Schmidt came up with. It was actually created by a legendary basketball coach by the name of John Wooden, and he coached at UCLA. And for all the years that he was there, he would work with his basketball players to help identify these different building blocks that would lead to their personal best. Now, this was really defined for college players, adults, but we're lucky enough that Coach Wooden worked with a couple of different people to make it accessible to kids, to help them understand it. And they created two amazing characters, Inch and Miles. And Inch and Miles go on an adventure in order to discover these different blocks of the pyramid of success. So I am so excited because I got to actually meet and have known the two, two of the co-creators of Inch and Miles. Their names are Tim and Peanut Harper. And just last week, I was able to sit down with them and have them explain to you what the pyramid, a pyramid of success is and how it applies at elementary schools. I hope you enjoy because you're going to be seeing them a lot as we start to build the pyramid of success right here. Have an absolutely amazing Monday. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, everybody. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. So... I'm so excited for a variety of reasons. But one of the big things that I'm most excited about is that starting this year, we're gonna be bringing something onto the Weaver campus. And it's something that is really, really incredible. And it, most of you know, I'm a big USC kind of guy, but this is from the rival, this is from UCLA, and is from probably one of the most influential coaches in history. His name is Coach John Wooden. And he created, a pyramid. And the reason he created this pyramid was so that he could work with his players to help them achieve their personal best. And there are a variety of blocks in this pyramid that each one taken by themselves is important, but when you put them all together, you're able to then achieve your personal best. And I am super excited because right over here, right over here, are two people who were instrumental in taking that pyramid and making it to where kids can have it. And so I am super excited to introduce Tim and Peanut Harper, that's these two guys right here, who actually created Inch and Miles. That's right, I have the authors of Inch and Miles right here, right now, to tell us a little bit about who Inch and Miles are and what the pyramid of success is. And before they get started, I'm gonna share the pyramid so you can see it, so they can be talking about it but also be on the lookout because they're going to be helping me all year long. So we can't now, wait. See, see, look at that. So here are, so because they've been patiently waiting here, I'm going to share my screen so that everyone can see this. So Tim and Peanut Harper, thank you so much for being here at Weaver. Thank you for being a part of this. I know they're not actually at Weaver. Actually, where are you guys? We are in San Francisco. Here we go. The Isn't joy technology great? technology. They're so incredible. All right, um, so take it away. Tell us about Inch and Miles and tell us about the pyramid. First of all, we want to tell the students how amazing their principal is. Um, we will follow you everywhere, and you're just such a great role model of everything the pyramid of success is about. So thank you, Principal Schmidt, for having us. Thank you. And I wanted to say, in case you're wondering, I'm Tim. And that's Peanut. So <laughs> our group is called Harper for Kids. And we go all over the state of California and we teach students about the pyramid of success. And you can see the pyramid up there. It's got 
14 character traits on it. And every one of those blocks is a reminder to you of what you need to do to be at your best each and every day. Yes, and you know, back in probably way long before you were born, um, I was honored to help Coach Wooden with his children's book, um, along with our good friend, um, co-author Steve Jamison. He's written like seven books with Coach Wooden. Um, but anyway, you know, this was a, um, became Coach Wooden's favorite book because it wasn't about him personally. He was so excited that it was about teaching young students like you about his pyramid of success and, and helping you define success in a positive way to help you guide your life. So, so think about this. Principal Schmidt said that Coach Wooden was a basketball coach at UCLA. And he's one of the most, he is the most winningest coach in college basketball. We, we call it March Madness now, but he won 10 championships in a 12 year period. So when you wanted to go play for Coach Wooden, at UCLA, you'd have to have an interview with Coach Wooden. And during that interview, Coach Wooden would just sit there and go, hmm, what is this person all about? And he's trying to figure out what that character was. Because it was character, not the talent, that got you on his team. Could you get along with the rest of the team? Are you a nice person? Are you respectful? That's what he was looking for on his team. And so we're thinking, at your age, at Weaver, Come on, you're going to be so far ahead of the game when you're learning this because the pyramid of success was created for college students. Yes, and we want to share Coach Wooden's definition of success that he created just for you guys. He says success is happiness in your heart because you made the effort 100% to do your best. And we can't think of a more positive way to define success than that because you know, that you can control that. You can control your own success because if you try your best, there's nothing else that you can do uh, more than that. And it's so neat because it's right here. There's the quote, the one that you just said, it's right there. It's right there. Principal Schmidt, we know you have a great definition of success. And you know, as the students are thinking about how they define success, um, I know they'd probably be inspired by how you define success. Well, you know, for me, it, it's something that you just said too. It's, it's, it's a lot of, it's hard work. It's being willing to put in the time and the effort to do your absolute best. But you know, it's, it's also something that I have learned is not something that you do alone. You have to be with other people. And I think that that's why I love the pyramid of success so much is because it really is like one of the blocks is specifically about team spirit, working cooperation, working together. Because whether with your teachers or your classmates or your parents or your grandparents or whoever, it's, 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 they're all connected and, and success really does need all of those things in order, in order to happen. Yes. No, and especially what we love about it is it's your personal best. Your personal best might look different than my personal best. Tim's might look different from mine. So it, it helps students not compare themselves to other others either, which is so important. It's just about everything you can do to be your personal best every day. Oh, that's, see, that's so wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing this right now so that we can get you guys a little bit bigger on camera here. But what is one thing, you know, this is, this is gonna be very new for a lot of our students. It's gonna be very new for a lot of our teachers. It's gonna be very new for our community as a whole. What's one thing that you would like people to take away from Inch and Miles journey to success like what's one thing and again they haven't even gotten to hear it yet and as i told you we're gonna actually do a reading together which is gonna be so cool but that's happening later well what's one thing that you would like them to know about this just to tease them a little bit i have one thing Go ahead. um i would say that first of all the book is about these two characters inch and miles and at the beginning of the book they think success is having lots of money or all the trophies or being the most popular kid at school. But they get through the book and they start going block by block, block in the pyramid to really find out what success is. And success is really just finding the things in life that you love and giving your best effort. Yes. And as hopefully we get to get, see you guys more often, would love for the students to maybe they can chat with their parents and maybe answer this question. 
What is success? What is success? And if they can write that down, you know, talk with their parents about that. Maybe they can share it with you, Prince Bo Schmidt. That would be an awesome start. You know what? We might have to make that a Flipgrid question for everyone. Ooh. We will ask them on this. So this Friday, you have given me now my Flipgrid question. What is success? And so what I'm going to be also doing is I'm going to be sharing what some of you say. And I'm going to be sharing them with you guys so that you can hear them as well. But again, I am super excited. One, that we got to introduce it, that it's coming to Weaver, that we're going to be able to do the Pyramid to Success here at Weaver but that I get to partner with you guys again in bringing something so very, very vital to our community. Um, social emotional learning is so important, making sure that you understand those skills, that it's not just how much you know, but how you treat others, how you treat yourself. Those are gonna be such really, really great lessons. And I'm so excited to be on this journey with you all. Well, I know our students you. are. Well, thank and you. And we're gonna be sending each of your students, their very own pyramid. So oh my they find a special place in their room for it. And you know what? Here's the, nice, the, the great part. This isn't just for our students who are here currently with us. They're sending one for every single Weaver student, whether you're low cell at home or whether you're here. Everybody's going to be doing this because this is going to become a really, really big part of the Weaver community. So thank you, Tim and Peanut Harper, for starting this off with us. We are so excited to see where this goes. I want everybody else have an absolutely amazing day and get ready because it's going to be amazing. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.